All right, everyone. So in this video, we'll do some practice with matrix operations, matrix multiplication. So um, question one is asking us to, if possible, evaluate their product of A times D. And question two is asking us, if possible, to calculate the product in the other order, D times A. So we've got a number of matrices. Uh, the ones that we're going to be working with are A and D. So considering uh, number one, which is A times D, let's look at the size. A is a three by two matrix. D is a three by three matrix. Since this is two and this is three, they're not equal to each other. We actually can't even take the product of A and D. So that operation is undefined. Uh, unless the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows in D, we can't do this product. So A has two row uh two columns excuse me and d has three rows they're not equal to each other this product is undefined when we take the product in the other direction d times a now d has three columns and a has three rows so this is going to be defined so d times a is defined and let's calculate that product in the space below so by definition we're going to take matrix D times the first column vector of A. That's this one over here. And then we, and then um, that's going to tell me the first column in the product. And then next, we're going to take D times the second column of A, which is this one over here. And that's going to tell me the second column in the product. So let's write out D. And so D, again, is this square three by three matrix. It's the identity matrix. So we're gonna multiply this identity matrix times the first column vector of A, which is three minus one, one. And then we can use our definition of how to multiply a vector, a matrix with a vector, which tells us we take x1, which happens to be the three, times the first column vector of D. We take the next entry in our column vector minus one times the next column vector in D. And then we take the third entry, which is one in our column vector, and we multiply that by the third column vector of matrix D. So this is going to give me um, a three from the first product over here. So my first entry is three. This gives me a minus one. And then from the last entry, we get a one. So we get back the vector that we started with. And um, so this is gonna tell me the first column of this product is gonna be three minus one, one. And to calculate the next column, we take D times A2 and so we have one, zero, zero as the first row of D, zero, one, zero as the second row, and zero, zero, one as the third row. We multiply that by the column vector, um, second column vector in matrix A, which is zero, two, one. Um, and then you can verify again that this is actually going to give us the vector zero, two, one back. So just like in the previous example, uh, multiplying this vector by the identity matrix gives us back the vector. And multiplying this vector over here, the identity matrix times this column vector just gives us back the same column vector. So this gives us the product of D and A has, is a um, three by two matrix. The first row is three, zero. The second row is minus one, two. And the third row is one, one. And notice, this is exactly equal to the matrix A that we started with. So what we see here is that when I take the identity matrix times A, we get A back. However, this is not equal to the result that I get when I take the product in the other way. So what we can see here is that this operation is not commutative because D times A gives us a well-defined matrix back and A times D is undefined. 
Okay, well, let's continue with another example um, where now we're going to have two matrices, which are neither one of which is the identity matrix. So we should expect to get out of this product an entirely different matrix than any of the two that went into the product. So um, question one is asking us to take the product of B, which is a two by two square matrix, and F, which is also a two by two square matrix. So B times F is defined and actually F times B is defined as well. Um, so with square matrices, as long as they have the same dimensions, we can define the multiplication in both orders, um, but they give us different results. Just keep that in mind. So if I want to calculate the product of B times F, then um, what I need to do is calculate B times the first column vector of matrix B. That's going to give me the first column in the product. And then I take B matrix B times the second vector um, column vector of matrix F. So in this case, our matrix B is 4 minus 1, 0, 2. And then our first column vector is 1, 2. And then we would take B, which is 4 minus 1 in the top row, 0, 2 in the bottom row, and multiply that by the second column vector in of matrix F, which is 4, 3. And so now we can do our matrix vector multiplication. Uh, in the first column, we would get 1 times 4, 0 plus 2 times minus 1, 2. And doing our arithmetic, we get 4 minus 2, which is 2, and then 0 plus 4, which is 4. And that tells me that in the product BF, the first column is 2, 4. The second column we get by taking B times the second column vector of F. So we get a 4 times four, the vector 4, 0 plus 3 times the vector minus 1, 2. And doing the arithmetic here, we get 16 minus 3, which is 13. We get 0 plus 6, which gives us 6. And so we know the second column in this product is therefore uh, 13, 6. And so the product of matrix B and F results in a 2 by 2 matrix. The top row is 2, 13. Second row is 4, 6. Okay, question 2 is asking us to calculate B squared. And so we haven't seen any powers for exponents. So first of all, we can only take powers of square matrices. So this is only going to make sense if B is a square matrix, which in this case it is. And um, in general, if B is square, then we define the power B to the kth power as B times B times B k times. So as you probably would imagine. Um, but keep in mind, in order for this product to make sense again, we need the number of columns of this vector to equal the number of, of this matrix to equal the number of rows of this matrix. So therefore, the number of rows and columns in matrix B have to be equal to each other. And this is why this is only defined raising the matrix to a power when that matrix is square. So in question two, we're asked to calculate B squared which is the product of B with itself. So we are just doing the same old matrix multiplication. So to find the first column in this product, I would take B times the first column of matrix B, um, which happens to be four zero. And then we apply our matrix vector multiplication, which tells me I take four times the first column four zero plus zero times the second column, which is minus one, two, do my arithmetic, and this gives me a vector of 16, zero. So that's gonna be the first column in the product. Then for the second column, we take B times the second column of matrix B, vector, a uh, column vector. So that's four, zero, minus one, two is the first two columns of matrix B times minus one, two. And then we use our matrix vector multiplication. I take the minus one times four zero plus two times minus one two, and that gives me minus six four. So altogether B squared, which is B times B has the first column, which is 16 zero, and the second column is minus six four. And this gives us the product 
of b squared. So in the next video, I'm going to verify these products using Google Colab, using Python in Google Colab. And I just want to mention um, one thing we'll see is that if I take the product of these two matrices that we calculated in one in the opposite order, um, what we'll get is not the same thing that we got when we took B times F. So when I do F times B, we get uh, first row is four, seven, and the second row is eight, four, and we get a totally different matrix than what we get when I multiply B with F. So um, matrix multiplication is not a commutative operation. Just be aware of that.